Hello, welcome to this video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create folders in your Google Drive and how to create folders within those folders. The purpose of this is to help you with organization. It is important to stay organized within your classes, especially now that we're going digital. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is access my Google Drive. When I'm in my Google Drive, if it loads, I'm going to go down to the right hand corner and click on that plus sign. I will then be given options to, let me go back here, to um, create a folder, upload, use camera, add a Google Doc, etc, etc. What I want to do is click folder. When I click folder, it's going to open up and ask me to name it. I'm going to try to speak and see if it works. That is an option for those of you that don't want to type things. However, I would say you want to go back and reread it. Speak to text doesn't always work. I highly recommend naming your document 2020-2021 class folders. That way you can separate all the new things from this year. As you can see, the text-to-speech didn't work. <laughs> when you're done with typing that, you'll go down to, you have two options. You have cancel or create. You will press create. Then, what you'll need to do is, within this drive, mine's full, but you have all these folders you created. You'll want to find the one that you just created called 2021 class folders. The reason why I would like the date to go first is because as you can see, it puts it up on the top of my folders. Once you're inside this document, you'll go down to the plus sign and go to another folder. Then you're going to name this folder English Language Arts. Miss Missiano, or whoever your language arts teacher is, and the class period in which you have language arts. I'm going to leave my period class blank. That way you guys can fill it in whether it's first, second, fifth, or sixth. The rest of this video is going to show you how to create separate folders for each of your courses. Again, you are, you are creating a folder for each course in a folder for all your courses. The reason for this is because if you click inside here, you'll click inside your folder, and then you'll have a document that's only pertaining to that class. I would name all your documents the class, the teacher, and the period in which you have the class. Now what I'm going to do is go out of my folder and I'm going to look for a document to save within a folder so you can see what I'm talking about. So I've opened this document and I'll have to get out of it in order for me to save it. So I'm going to go down to the three dots within my Google Docs. I'm going to go to move. Then I'm going to choose that folder I just created and then I'm going to choose a folder and then I'm going to go to move here. And that is that. That is how you organize yourself within Google Docs. I hope this video helps. 